Hey, I bet you guys went to the fair just to get some of these. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make fried pickles. Let's get it. Okay, so look, you guys can see the ingredients right here. Now look, I'm using kosher whole deal pickles, right? You guys, I like that because check this out. I got the wavy knife. This right here does it even this, uh, you can do crinkle fries, you can do all of that, right? But we want the, uh, our pickle slices to be on that wavy side, right? So we have this, we got some other ingredients. Don't forget the full ingredient list will be down on my website. It's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Let's talk about the oil. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this, bringing this up to temp, right? So I'm using my Dutch oven, obviously. You know what I mean? I put in about two, three inches of oil, right? Now, we talked about, and I'm gonna reference the last video that I did with the peach cobbler egg rolls, right? What we wanna do is we wanna get reach about 370 degrees, right? 370, 375. So I'm gonna bring my, put some fire underneath the bottom of here. I'm gonna start off with like a, a medium low, right? I'm gonna stick this here, my candy thermometer. Right, I'll just put this in here. And then we're gonna start bringing this up, right? Now, let's go ahead and start prepping the rest of our ingredients, right? Don't forget, all of these ingredients you see right here, that's on my website, that'll hook you guys up. And I like to refer you guys to the website, because listen, when you go there, there are other options there, right, that will help you. And this is key, you can get suggestions, everything. Right, so let's go ahead and open this up. And let's grab one of these whole pickles. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just say pause, just the fact that I got this in my hand right here. Pause. Now we finna work, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab about three of these. I get a paper towel and I kinda like dry them off, right? Now listen, they are gonna be juicy anyway. So what I do is I got me a paper plate. You know what I mean? I put a paper towel right here. Let's see, let me make some more room. Let me just move this over here like that. Now what I wanna do is I wanna start cutting these. Now, I got the wavy knife. Now I'll leave a link if you guys wanna get one of these. Listen, especially if you're doing fries, instead of doing the same old boring fries, you know what I mean? Let's do them crinkle cut and then you know, have your people say, hey, you these frozen? You know what I mean? So all you do is just, you know what I mean? So just so you can see it, look, I don't know if the camera's catching that wavy, but you see how it is? I'll do it like this so you can really see it. All right, so now you can cut these. The beauty of this is when you start with a whole one, it helps you get the size that you would like to get. Now, you want them all to be uniform, right? You see? Look at that. Now, we just put these in here. Put these on the paper, the line plate with the paper towel. You just want to put them like that. These right here, I'm going to eat them. I love pickles. Now, we always have a debate on my channel, right? And that debate is, do you want to do sweet or do you prefer, you know, deal? Like, tell me, what do you guys like? You know what I mean? Uh, for me, I like to have sweet or bread and butter, which is the same to me as sweet. I like to have that on my burgers, right? But for these, I like these to be a nice bite full, you know, and we just go like this. Now, when I put them down, remember I told you they juicy in this inside, look at that. All right, so what I'm trying to do is get this one down. You know what I mean, just a little bit. See, we got a little room. I like for them to all be flat because it, you'll see what I'm getting ready to do right now. I'm gonna take paper towel and put these over here over the top, just like this, right? And as you can see, it just starts soaking up all of the, you know, the dill pickle juice on the top. Now I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna set this off to the side for a second. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up my stations, right? So to stop using all of the different uh, utensils, look, we're gonna go ahead and use a whisk. I'm gonna start with my dry, right? So this is just one cup of all purpose. Right, then I got my seasonings right here. Now don't forget, on my website, the full ingredient list is there, right? But if you guys wanna make your own, you know, seasoned flour, by all means. You know what I mean? Now you can do that sometime. I did this one right here just to show you guys, for those of you guys who don't have none of my seasonings, but I like to use my A for this right here. I could add some to it, but this is, this is good right here. Trust me when I tell you. Look, you can look at the flour and see that the color change, that tell you that that's seasoned. Right? Only thing missing, I didn't put in there was no freshly ground black pepper. All right, now look, in a separate bowl, I like to go ahead and do my wet ingredients in this here. To put them in the pie crust sometime, I mean in the pie uh, pan, that could be a little bit on the uh, messy side. So look, we'll just add buttermilk. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg. 
now we whisk. Once you have it whisked, now we just go ahead and pour our wet into this station here, and that right there is done, folks. Now I'm gonna bring both of these over here like this. Now right here, you'll see I got a cooling rack over a pan. This is what I'm gonna stage them on top of once I get done, right? Now, let's come back to the oil. You see the oil here? Let me look down at it. Right now we're approaching 210. That's cool, that's bringing this way up. We wanna bring it up nice and slowly. We don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna go ahead and raise my temperature up just a little bit, cause we getting ready to just start dipping, right? Now this is gonna be the dipping order. Dry, wet, dry, stage. Got it? Dry, wet, dry, stage. Now this is a great beginner video for anybody that's new to the kitchen. You know what I mean? It's something fun. You can get in there with your kids, your friends, or any or your loved ones, you know what I mean? Somebody that, especially if somebody don't know how to cook, man, you can get hands on with it and all of that and just make something that tastes great. Something that we all know, especially when we go to them fairs. Even though we had the paper towel on here and we had it sitting on here, it has soaked up a lot of the, you know, the wetness, right? They still a little moist, right? So they are gonna hold on to a little bit of this flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stage them like this right and then i'm gonna go ahead and just flip these over move these around now i can tell you this part too do you remember the old school remember when you, your mom or your pops you know what i mean back then it was probably more women in the kitchen than it is now right do you remember when your mama used to have that bag you could throw this in a bag and just shake these right but i'm doing it the new school way and it's a good way just to show you know what i mean saying you know what i'm saying just to show you guys what they look like, right? So, I like to give them a little bump or two just to knock off any of the excess, and then I just stage them inside of here and are wet. All right, so once we get them coated like that, right? I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a fork just to help with the process of just flipping them over, right? You guys can use a pair of tongs, but I, I'm trying not to use the tongs because usually when I use the tongs, they kind of like knock off a lot of my, uh, my my wet. You know what I mean? So I just like to do them like this, get them completely coated, right? But you guys can see where we're going with it right now, right? Okay. You remember we talked about this in the beginning, dry, wet, dry, right? So by us having a fork, it's already naturally, you know, slotted. We just drain off any excess wet, right? We come here. We just come back into the dry. Now, after we flip them and coat them there, then we gonna stage them. Real simple, you see what I mean? Now look, I'm doing this with a fork. Honestly, you don't have to use a fork. You can get in here with your hands. Use one hand for dry, one hand for wet, All right? But just for video purposes, you know what I mean? I got the food police, they be on me. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to do everything a cool way, All right? Not for real. For those of y'all that know me, you know I don't care about nothing like that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna cook the way I cook, and I promise you, when I put food out, they gonna eat it. I got myself a, another fork, right? Just to flip them over, right? And you know how wet they are. Look at that right there. Just get them flipped. Then we start moving them around. And this right here is what's gonna make them fry the right way. Now, if I hadn't said it earlier, which I think I did, we going to 370, right? Once we hit that 370, then we go into the, you know, the hot grease. All right, so let's take a look at our candy thermometer. Look like we right at 370. So you know what the next thing to do is, it's time to fry. Okay, so look, I'm up to 385, which I like to be a little higher because when you put things inside, you know they go ahead, you know the temperature drops, right? So I'm gonna drop this in here like that and just leave it, leave it. Tongs make it a little bit easier to just drop them. You know what I mean? To like shake off the any excess flour. We only want to be in here about two or three minutes on each side, you know? So I'm gonna do a little small batch at the very beginning. Okay, so as you can see, Depending on how hot, hot you have them, they cook fast, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these right here. Look at this right here. Look at that right there. 
And you know that season perfectly too. Now we're gonna go ahead and just add some more. Now I want you guys to pay attention to this part. You see them floating right there? That tell me they already cooked. Now we're just looking for that desired color, right? Now don't forget, if you take them out when they light, which is no problem, you know what I mean? Because they're going to darken up a little bit anyway while they're on your cooling rack. You know what I mean? Because you saw the first batch that I did, you saw the second. Now look, the second then almost caught up with the end color, right? So I'm going to just take these. I'm going to let them get a little bit darker. Now it depends on the color, I mean the heat. You know what I mean? Uh, how you did them, you know what I mean? Because don't forget, after you do, you fry set a batch and you put them up, you got to look at your thermometer to see, are you back up? That's why most people, the second batch, when they do chicken, they come out soggy because they don't have enough temperature in the oil. This is how you see them. This is how they come out. Look, perfect to put out, especially when you're doing like game day. You know what I mean? You guys having like a little, a little uh, football party or any type of party. Look, it's easy on your carpet. There's nothing wet dropping or nothing like that. You can pick them up. Now, as they were cooling, I went ahead and made my famous burger sauce. This makes for a great uh, dipping sauce. Now, if you guys look at the website, in the uh, ingredient list for this recipe, I put something in there for you guys that's real, real nice. Or you guys can look, I got other sauces. This dips well with everything. And guess what, folks? That relish that you see in there, that's sweet relish. Okay, folks, look, I was taking pictures of them trying to get a thumbnail, man. I'm trying to fight everybody back, man. You know what I mean? I let a couple of them get behind the camera, man, and now everybody like, ooh, 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 gimme, gimme. Now listen, I'm not finna over talk. I'm finna go ahead and grab myself another one. We finna dip it in this little fry sauce, dipping sauce, really. You know what I mean? Uh, but it goes great on burgers. This is what I always put in my burgers anyway. Nothing but like a Duke's mayonnaise, uh, Duke's, let's see, it's, it's mayo, uh, mustard, ketchup, relish, W salt, salt and pepper. You know what I mean? Anyway, cheers, y'all. Now, you know I'm gonna be brief with this one, because I'm ready to snack. So, again, this is a great little finger food appetizer that you guys can put out, you know what I mean, uh, if you're doing any type of function. Hey, just this is just cool when everybody's saying, hey, hey, I wanna eat, I wanna eat, and they rushing you, you know what I mean? You can make something like this, put this out, and everybody happy. Now, I got a couple of pro tips. You remember when I cut them, I set them up to the side, I put the towel on the top. One of the things I could have done was, did that cut them out prior and let them dry out so like give them like a couple of hour head start because these pickles right here are like super juicy you know what i mean i feel like i need to say pause i keep saying all of this you know what i'm saying but uh anyway you just want to like get them dried out and then when you go ahead and bread them and when you're done it's best to take them and put them in the hot grease then and then fry them just do them that way you'll get a much much better result but as far as me making this video i just wanted to show you guys how to make it right now listen if you're new to my channel and you like this kind of you know content let me know down in the comment section below don't forget to like smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here check this out there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking and i'm finna get me a real dunk folks it's time to get that grown-up kool-aid and guess what man i'm out peace Thank you.